Morena, wider rapper. It's a lovely day, Thursday, the 11th of, of November. Well into spring, nearly summer. This morning on MMP, move, mingle and play. That's the, uh, the mantra from this show. It's the mantra that goes out to you all uh, for the time ahead. And uh, you can even plan. One of those elements, at least, in your activities. And today, to help me with the show, I have the honourable, uh, almost infamous, Keith Austin. Uh, uh, welcome to the show, Keith. I'll put you on. And, uh, Thank you, Rob. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to be here again. Uh, we did this a little while ago. Uh, it was freezing cold outside last time. Now, of course, it's a lot, uh, it's a lot warmer. We're getting to the... Um, getting towards the summer weather now, which is which is a great thing to see. How long ago was it that you were on, Keith? It was yeah. four or five weeks? That would be about that. Yeah. Six weeks, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So what have you been doing in the last few weeks? Uh, well, I've been um, helping out in the music store, as usual, the Masterton uh, Sela Music Works music store. And I've been doing some piano tuning. I've um, also been interviewed as a scientist for a mockumentary uh -huh. uh, my great friend Jody Mortimer oh, yeah. um, he's um, he's a uh, film producer director and he's doing um, a mockumentary about um, aliens coming down from you know out of space to landing on earth and that sort of thing and I'm I'm the, the scientist who says well it's probably not possible that there's going to be life on other worlds and all this sort of thing. Yes. Uh, so that was my role in the in the movie. But what about the parallel universe? Did you talk about that? Well, no, we didn't get a chance to talk about parallel parallel universes. Ah. Um, I'm not sure, you know, from a scientific basis, I'm not sure that there there are actually such things as parallel universes. Yeah. Possibly parallel time streams, but we're getting into Physics yes, and metaphysics yes, here, yes, yes. Anyway, lovely to have you with us. Yeah, thank you very much. So with MMP, we like to tell people a little bit of what's happening in the district. So before we head into our musical section, um, I'll just give you some of the headlines of what's coming up in the next few days. Spotlight on Broadway. This is a uh, performing arts showcase at Wairapa College. And it starts this Sunday, the 14th of November, and goes through till Tuesday. Uh, children over five, $10. General admission for adults, $28. Students, $17. And the event finder tickets are sold out. So you've only got door sales. Uh, on Sunday, the show is uh, starting at 4 o'clock, goes through till 6 Monday the 15th, 6.30 to 8.30, and Tuesday the 16th, 6.30 to 8.30. Our annual showcase featuring our dance and drama students. This is a variety show that is fast-paced and full of fantastic dance music and costumes. All students in our performing arts school are featured and bring to the stage original choreography show showcasing ja jazz ballet, tap, musical, theatre, hip-hop, and contemporary dance. So it sounds like they've covered just about every, every base there, I think. Yes, and they're all ages. Mm. And, and these young folk, they really have a passion for what they are learning. And they, they love getting on stage, I know. Mm. And they love getting the, the makeup on, getting yes. the costumes on. And I'm sure it'll be a very well-produced show. It's very encouraging to see young people taking up you know, um, dance forms such as jazz and tap and, and so forth. Yeah, yes. yeah. So Spotlight on Broadway, JDDC Performing Arts Showcase, starting this Sunday. It's at Wairapa College in the auditorium, 83 Pownall Street. Quiz, here's something up your alley, Keith. There's a, a quiz night at Club <laughs> Wairarapa on Monday. Yes. You, you're free on Monday nights, aren't you? Uh, after teaching, yes. We haven't got the choir any longer, have yes. we? We can't get back to the mm. King Street Artworks Choir, which is usually on Monday nights. But anyway, folks, um, Monday, the 15th of November, the, there's a quiz night at Club Wairarapa. 
It's a fun quiz. People's movies, TV, general knowledge. Don't have to be a rocket scientist. Well, that cuts you out because you are a rocket scientist. Well, I was. <laughs> <laughs> then the Wairapa Heart Help Group. They meet on Wednesday the 17th, and uh, that's November, and then on the 15th of December, it's at the Wairapa Community Centre, 41 Perry Street. If, you have a heart, if you've had heart disease, including atrial fibrillation, and are keen for more information and support, we'd love you to join us. Our Heart Help Group meets monthly to share stories and information with each other, and occasionally host guests to facilitate discussion on a particular topic as chosen by the group. So the, the invitation is to come and be part of it with us. I think I've got just one more announcement before we cut to talking about your music, Keith. Mm -hmm. The Bee Gees Night Fever. It's at the Carterton Event Centre this Sunday, 14th of November, 7 till 9.30. Direct from Australia, Showtime invites you to dance your way into a time warp of 70s disco dance floor thrillers and timeless heartfelt rock ballads with the Bee Gees' Night Fever. Mm. Night Fever is jetting into town to recreate the Bee Gees' 1997 one-night-only Las Vegas concert experience in a theatre-style production with over two hours of live, engaging entertainment, showcased through vibrant state-of-the-art lighting, digital display screens, impeccable sound, and of course, a hand-picked international cast that will immerse audiences into the disco era with exquisite trio harmonies and the iconic high-pitched falsetto that we all know and love. So I don't have a price on that on the tickets for the Bee Gees Night Fever show, but it's on at 7 o'clock on Sunday at the Carterton Event Centre. All right, Keith. Yes. Can I try and play uh, a piece of your classical music just yes. to, to warm people up to, to what, uh, what, we're, what you're capable of? Um, let's see how this goes. Oh, we've got trouble, Keith. Always technical, technical gremlins in the. Ah, here we go. Show. Here we go. Here we go. It's very quiet at the beginning, so I hear. It starts off very quietly. Yeah. Well, we can just talk about it while it's while it's, it's coming um, through. It's called Voyager Two. Yeah. And it celebrates the Voyager space, spacecraft on its journey past the outer planets. Mm -hmm. um, it's a classical tone poem for piano, synthesizers, and percussion. And it took me about three years to completely come up with this. I did the whole thing in my home studio. And uh, it has a very classical but ambient feel to it. So I call it classical electronic. And it has a very quiet start up, so the equipment here may not uh, quite pick it up. That's the technical problem we're having with it. Here it comes. Yeah. Here it comes, Keith.
Well, Keith, that's a, a wonderful introduction to Voyager 2. Yes. Perhaps you could say a little bit more about what was going on composition-wise uh, well, at that point. Firstly, I'd like to put in a little plug. Um, I, about two years ago, three years ago, I debuted this at Stonehenge Yautoroa, um, thanks to my great friend Richard Hall, who also presents the astronomy program here on um, Arrow FM. And we're going to be doing that again fairly soon, as soon as we get the technology sorted out. Um, so I will be uh, performing Voyager 2 at Stonehenge yeah. um, sometime this summer. But composition-wise, um, it's a it's a meld of a classical. There's a little little bit of blues and rock and that sort of thing, but it's predominantly classical. It features the big classical influences in my life, um, the uh, Beethoven, Mozart, and what I call the Russian Romantics, the Romantic era Russian composers such as uh, Tchaikovsky, Rimsky-Korsakov and so forth. Um, some people have said it sounds like film music and um, it does in a way because I've spent a lot of my life working in composing film music. Uh, it is descriptive, it's not meant to be just listened to, you, you can imagine the spacecraft drifting past the planets and all the things that it sees on its way through uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and so forth and um, yeah it, um, it takes, uh, it took about um, 30, 35 tracks I think it was uh, including one piano track, about 30 synthesizer tracks and the percussion tracks as well, there's uh, classical percussion in there as well and so it's, uh, it's a it's a huge effort to put something like that together. The full piece runs for 45 minutes. Mm, yeah, no, well done. <laughs> and you've actually uh, published it too, haven't you? People can yes, can yes. listen to it on Spotify? Uh, not yet. No? Uh, I'm putting it up on, uh, uh, on um, SoundCloud mm -hmm. and I'll put it up on Spotify when I get a chance. Yeah. It still needs a little bit of tweaking. I see. Good, good. So what about if we just play a couple of songs now, <clears throat> just to get those keyboards warmed up? Yeah. You see, I've got my, one of my favourite keyboards, my Yamaha PSR. And just wait for Rob to get his guitar going. Shall we start with our, um, the first song that we, we wrote together? So folks, here's the archivist. One, two, three, four.
field As herbs growing by the back door Each room a fantasy revealed touch her voice she's not just in a book the pictures the woman of his choice he lives all alone in a little white house inside he's created a world a place where dragons live there he's safe on his own Keith, that was brilliant. I reckon. It was good fun, wasn't it? And I remember writing that song with you. Yeah. Let's play one of our favourite Irish songs, shall we? It's a kind of a theme song for relationships through good and bad. It's called The Voyager. And it's another Jimmy McCarthy song. We like Jimmy McCarthy songs, don't I should we? have brought my accordion. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here's The Voyager, folks. Whole trip. I 
our true destination is not marked on any chart. We're navigating to the shores of the heart. Life is an ocean, love is a boat in troubled waters. Us afloat. When we started the voyage, that was just me and you. Now, gathered round us, we have our own crew. Good one, Keith. Yes, it's one of my favourite. I've uh, you introduced me to uh, Jimmy McCarthy. Yeah, ago, yeah. And, uh, every one of his songs it just inspires me. You know. Yeah, yeah. What's What's your favourite? Oh, probably right on. Right on, yeah, yeah. It's a, almost a bittersweet sort of a uh, sort of a thing lyric-wise. Yeah, and it's so simple, isn't it? Chord well, chord progression-wise, exactly. just keeps going round and round. A A minor G F. <laughs> Or the other way around. <laughs> Folks, we do have a particular job to do here, and that is to give you information about what's happening in the wire wrapper. Uh, so I've got a couple more things just to tell you about, at least a couple more. Sunday Farmers Market in Carterton. Don't forget, it just lifts the Sunday to head down to the Carterton Town Square, see all those stalls out, all those busy people uh, selling things, having chats, and there might even be a musician playing. I think they, they get someone now to yes. play for a couple of hours. Um, anyway, it's a lovely way to spend Sunday morning. Seven, no, not seven. Um, the farmer's market starts at nine o'clock and goes till 12.30. And that's every Sunday in the Memorial Square in Carterton. There's a men's group. Uh, this is the Wire Wrapper Indoor Meeting. Uh, this coming Thursday, so that's one week today, the 18th of November, at the Carterton Community Courthouse, 60 Holloway Street. It's an open and diverse group of sharing and mutual support. Come to share or listen to the stories of other local men, 17 years old and older, who feel the need to connect with themselves, the group, and silence. Happy to have 14-plus-year-old guys accompanied by father, grandfather, or a caregiver. We meet every uh, first and third Thursday of the month at 7 o'clock. Please come on time, as at some point we may lock the door from inside to protect the group by preventing new people from entering uh, the room in the middle of a sharing. Event is usually facilitated by experienced leaders, but the aim is to co-create and give participants the opportunity to grow through the leadership in a supportive group. No alcohol, no drugs. Come with a clear mind, please. And that's been going for a couple of years now at least. A very positive environment for men of all ages to meet uh, get to know each other, um, share stories, share experiences, and make connections. It works very well with the MMP uh, ideal. And then this Eat, Drink, Wire Wrapper. This is a, um, a Martinborough initiative. Uh, Friday next week through till Sunday. It's the 19th of November through to the 21st. Uh, it's free admission. And where is it? Seeing as Toast Martinborough has been postponed until January of next year, it's still easy to have wine and food filled weekend in Wairapa. Get your mates together and get ready for a top weekend. Pop over for a Wairapa weekend brimming with new wine and food, places to try across the region, plus get your tickets to the weekend events. Check out what you can get up to on our website from Friday the 19th to Sunday the 21st. So if you want to look that up, it'll be under eat, comma, drink, comma, wire a wrapper. Uh, it's free admission, but I think 
you might have to pay if you want to eat or drink. Uh, and the, there are several wineries involved, probably some buses to get you between them. So it's kind of like a mini toast wire wrapper, but stretching over three days, Friday through to Sunday. And then also uh, down to find wines, down to find wines. This is the Beaujolais Nouveau Non. It's on Wednesday the 17th of November. Uh, it's the rear of 104 Main Street in Greytown. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's $69. Uh, there's a phone number to ring if you want tickets, but I'll tell you about what it is first. Beaujolais Nouveau Day is a celebration of the first release of the year's vintage, full of frivolity, fun, and average wine. Average well, wine. Average wine. <laughs> What's an average wine? Average in that, that part of the world is usually pretty good, I think. I was going to say. So we'll be celebrating Beaujolais Nouveau Non, in other words, some of the Cruce of Beaujolais. Wines renowned for their character rather than the lolly water. But one day before the actual party with a lot better wine. Ticket includes a selection of wines from Beaujolais, France, alongside cheese, caracature and bread. And it's $69. Uh, you buy tickets by phoning 0204 016 four eight double six i'll say that again o two o four o one six four eight double six for beaujolais nouveau non i would like to tell you about a book launch that's coming up it's it's about embracing positive aging in the wire wrapper so this is for old folk or getting old, okay. and hopefully not getting old fast. So, uh, Angela Robertson, she's got two new books she's written. The first one is titled Life on Our Own Terms, Embracing, Embracing Life on Our Own Terms, and the other one is Creating Life on Our Own Terms. And the double book launch will happen at St. Mark's Anglican Church, 185 High Street South in Carterton, this Sunday between 4 and 6 o'clock. It's never too late to start something new, says the author of the two new books in her older and bolder series, Dr. Angela Robertson. In conjunction with International Day of the Older Persons, Robertson has put together a collection of cameo life stories celebrating the lives of extraordinary New Zealand men and women in the second half of their lives. The people she interviewed range from their mid-50s to 101 years old and have wildly different experiences. 101. I, 101, yeah. yeah. Still able to be interviewed. Yes. Probably with a chortle and a smile. Yeah. Several of the men and women that feature in these books have a long association with the wire wrapper. This includes Carterton resident Helen Dew, and there's just been a book out about her approach to life, which we, we uh, previewed a couple of shows ago. Uh, she was the no uh, 2019 nominee for the Women of Influence Award. A Masterton resident and cycling advocate, Liz Mickelson, former headmaster of Hadlow and deputy principal at Chanel College, Kevin Boyce, civil aviation engineer and former member of Carterton Rotary, John Skeen, national treasurer of both the Men's Shed NZ and Wellington Vintage Machinery, Inc Incorporated, Peter uh, Blacker, and former Prime Minister John, Jim Bolger and his wife Joan. So Angela Robertson told Midweek she got the idea for the book after she spoke to a few people approaching retirement and wanted to find out what they were doing in later life. So if you want to take part in that book launch, it's a double book launch, 4 to 6 o'clock on Sunday at the Anglican Church, uh, St. Mark's Anglican Church, that is on uh, 185 High Street South in Carterton. 
I think that could be something we uh, we, could, we could get up to Keith on Sunday. We could head down and sounds worth a get some note. words of wisdom from a local writer. You know, people who write, they always have very profound things to say about life, don't they? As a writer myself, I can identify with that. Yes. <laughs> so how how is your book going? Because you you've nearly finished the second well, one. Yes, I finished the second. Um, just a brief recap. Um, there are. It's a, it's a prehistoric fantasy fiction, and there are three books planned in the um, in the trilogy. Book one is uh, being published. Book two I've finished writing, and is about to be published. And book three is now um, I've started writing book three. So yeah, golly! And you always planned it as a trilogy, didn't you? I always planned it as, as a trilogy. Yes. Yeah, good. Great. Well, um, talking about writers, Charles Waldegrave is coming. He's probably more of a community activist, but I think he has written about uh, housing needs and um, the plight of the homeless and the underprivileged. And he's giving a talk uh, this coming, actually it's tonight, 7.30 tonight, November the 11th, at the St. Matthew's Church Hall. Uh, it's a meeting of Science Wire Rapper, and he's the guest speaker. So for those of you who are interested in Charles's work, he's done some absolutely remarkable uh, advocacy work for the underprivileged in New Zealand, based in Wellington. Um, let me read you a little bit about Charles. A leading social researcher will visit Wire Rapper next week. Well, that's this week to discuss the country's housing crisis. Reliable international ratings show housing costs in relation to income in New Zealand are currently the highest in the world. We have serious problems of homelessness, unaffordable rents, and inaccessible home ownership for many people. We aren't adequately addressing our systemic housing crisis, but we can do it. We've done it before, said Charles Waldegrave who's the co-founder of the Family Centre Social Policy Research Unit based in Lower Hutt. And he's a co-vicar at St. Peter's on Willis Street. So I'll let Charles explain his position and his inspiration when you go and listen to him uh, deliver his talk at 7.30 tonight at St. Matthew's Church on Church Street in Masterton. Good luck to that. Mm. Charles. Keith, I'm going to cut to um, uh, a Mary Black song and um, and then we're going to have a bit more of a chat. Mm -hmm. Everybody, here's Mary Black with Turning Away.
Black was turning away from her album, Speaking with the Angel. Keith, we're going to play a couple of our own songs now. Yes. Shall we just uh, finish off the program with um, our version of Blood and Nerve? This is a song that I wrote after going to an anthroposophic uh, medical conference in Brisbane. And we were studying one of uh, Rudolf Steiner's chapters from a book titled Fundamentals of Therapy. So this yeah, the is lyrics are based almost entirely on what uh, Rudolf Steiner wrote in, in his book. Yeah, right? well, it, it, it's, it's a praisey of, of yeah. the um, principles that he established in, in the chapter, chapter six. Yes. Blood and nerve, everybody. Okay. <laughs>
chatter and thought Life and light Form and matter, light and light Lovely job, Keith. Should we have a go at slipping away? Yeah. And we've got about five more minutes, so we've we won't stretch this, this out too far. <laughs> we've never done the song before, so uh, um, publicly at least. So. See how it goes. First time we've, uh, we've played that one. <laughs> yep. So, Keith. Well, thank you, Rob. Yeah, thank you very much. Hey, I'd just like to tell you folks, there's, um, there's vaccinations happening this weekend, uh, Friday, that's tomorrow, at um, uh, Regent Street, which is... Where's Regent Street? Perhaps that's in... How Ariki Marai. Regent Street. Is that Carterton? Must be Carterton. Anyway, 9 o'clock till 12.30. Um, and then in Martinborough, also on Friday, 2 to 6 o'clock. It's tomorrow. Martinborough Golf Course on Todd's Road. It's a drive-through vaccination spot. For those of you who haven't had your uh, inoculations yet and are keen to do so, it's all happening starting tomorrow. Hawa, Hawa Ariki Marae. 9 o'clock and the Martinborough Golf Course at 2. And of course there's the usual regular spots as well. And the other thing I can talk about very briefly, Keith, is um, what's happening at the Carterton Craft Market ah. on uh, Friday, tomorrow. They're open from uh, 9 till 4. Uh, that's Monday to Saturday. And Sunday they're open from 10 till 3. It's in High Street in North Carterton. If you're interested in going to the craft market, perhaps putting up a stall there, <clears throat> you can phone Desley on 027 787 8558. And there's the Kids Song and Story session, which is at the Epiphany Church Hall, High Street uh, South Masterton, 9.30 to 10.30, on Friday, tomorrow, and you can phone Pam if you want to find out more about that, 378-6740. We're coming up to the last five minutes, Keith. Would you like to play a little instrumental piece? One of your kind of jazzy, bluesy, yeah, one of those cool ones. Yes, I'll just change bases here. 
the advantage of having a keyboard like this, you can you can have a string bass. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, bring the volume up a little bit. Okay. What key are you in? Keith, you're just a natural. So are you, Rob. <laughs> Love that harmonica in there, mate. <laughs> well, I think I got somewhere near the progression you were doing. Yes. <laughs> so, look, we've got a few, a few minutes, and I'm just going to quickly run through some of the, the interesting things happening in the community in the next few days. Uh, the Wairapa Farmers Market, never forget, that's on a Saturday morning from 9 to 1. Plenty of good food. Wonderful stalls, more crafty things going in there. Uh, and I saw there was some lovely landscaped um, wooden pieces, um, sort of sculptures you could, you could put in the garden or in the hallway of the house or on the veranda um, with um, kind of ceramic mosaics suspended on wooden uh, poles and beautifully, beautifully carved wooden structures from native timber Sounds i didn't actually good. catch the name of the people who have that store but it was a new one there last Go week down there and check them out yeah 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 and of course there's um bolly and galinda's bakery yep and there's pip with her vegan bakery yes and vegan of course store. kate's kombucha yes and uh <coughs> ian and helen's lovely olive oil and they, they've moved further down uh, in the in the uh, um, in the grandstand building, you know, they've moved further down to be right beside the band. Do you notice that? Yeah, and Ian's very tolerant of the volume levels. He does make a point of, you know, commenting that we don't want it too loud, do we? Yes. And the trick with Ian, of course, is to make sure the speaker's not pointing in his direction. When we're <laughs> when we're there, because yeah. Rob and I um, occasionally you'll see Rob and myself there. Yeah, uh, Rob leading the bands with his amazing. Well, leading, Keith. Hardly leading yes. when you're involved. And uh, <laughs> so 
<laughs> Come on down. Occasionally you'll, you'll, you'll see us playing there too. And what about tomorrow night, Keith? We haven't put a plug in for our show. Friday Night yep. Live's Friday back night at Coco, Coco yep. Queen Elizabeth Park. Yep. Bob and Kate are featuring, and uh, Coral and Matt. <coughs> yep. uh, and then we're going to be playing with Momoko on saxophone. Yes. That's going to be a treat, isn't it? Yes. And your yeah. friend Mark? We've got my my uh, my friend Mark Bradley, who's um, a guest star on drums. He's one of the most amazing drummers I've worked with. So come on down. That's Coco um, uh, tomorrow night, Friday night. Um, it used to be known as the Lake House. It's now known as Coco on the uh, on the shore of the lake. And come on down. Bring your dancing shoes. You're going to have. We have to be time. careful about dancing, though, Keith. <laughs> People aren't allowed to get that close. Oh, Don't feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to obey the rules. Oh. Well, you're allowed to dance as long as you've got a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Keith, on that note, I think we'll wind the show up. Yep. We want to keep our, our station manager happy, don't we? Yes. Do you want to just play a little couple of little quick little bits and we're yeah. getting out of here? That's it for, uh, from us, uh, MMP, for another week. Arrow FM, 92.7, thanks for having us. Go well, go happily, go into the sunshine, and make sure you get some of it on your skin. Rob Mansell and Keith Austin, signing out for now.